ritual sacrifice and bloodshed, harnessing pain and anguish. The disciples of Io were able to power her army. As long as the disciples remained, her soul... Tsushima is part of me now. Ever since that day, sacrifices. Humans always have to sacrifice. Part of me now. Ever since that day, sacrifices. The deeds of the ghosts are many. Let me share one. Which of these legends interest you? A harrowing tale. This is a tale of blood and sadness, when vicious Mongols hunted every twin on Tsuchima and captured their spirits. The island prayed for warriors to save the twins, and the ghosts answered the call. They tracked the captive twins to a Mongol roadblock.
The ghosts tracked the prisoner's trail through the camp, but the captive twins were nowhere to be found. Cart tracks, deep in the ground, provided the only sign of where they went. The ghosts followed the trail. eyes burned with dark flame, a sign of their dreadful bond. The enemy fell, but he was soon revived by the spirit of his tethered twin. slain, the ghosts were free to search the cart. Inside, they made a grisly discovery. Human hearts, freshly harvested from the twins of Tsuchima. They struck out, following the cart's direction. By reaping the hearts of Tsuchima's twins, the Oni were able to tether themselves to each other, sharing a life force that could not be broken so long as one of them remained alive. The ghosts arrived at a war camp to confront its gruesome leaders.
of Tushima, but a greater threat still lurked in the shadows. Only a powerful Onibaba could have tethered such spirits. But that is another story for another time. Many legends for you to enjoy. What legend would you like to hear? One of my favorites. This is a tale of blood and sadness. When vicious Mongols hunted every twin on Tsuchima and captured their spirits, the island prayed for warriors to save the twins, and the ghosts answered the call. They tracked the captive twins to a Mongol roadblock. fell, their link shattered. The ghosts found the carts, but not the twins. Only wheel tracks remained, leading 
deeper into the forest. The ghosts followed, determined to rescue the twins of Tsushima. The twins were being used to strengthen Mongol soldiers by a deep and terrible power. But what this power was, the ghosts did not know. For now, their only hope, a Mongol cart traveled up the road, escorted by foes protecting mysterious cargo. With their enemies slain, the ghosts were free to search the cart. Inside, they made a grisly discovery. Human hearts, freshly harvested from the twins of Tsushima. They struck out by reaping the hearts of Tsushima's twins. The Oni were able to tether themselves to each other, sharing a life force that could not be broken so long as one of them remained alive. The ghosts arrived at a war camp to confront its gruesome leaders. <laughs> by the ghosts. They would no longer prey on the twins of Tsushima. 
but a greater threat still lurked in the shadows. Only a powerful Onibaba could have tethered such spirits. But that is another story for another time. Listen while I recount an adventure. I'll share any story with you. A harrowing tale. Ghosts arrived at Fort Mitodake in search of Eo's infernal scrolls. The demon had delivered these writings to her followers so they could aid her plans. If the ghosts would steal the scrolls, they would know Eo's plans. But the fort was guarded by deadly fire spirits. Gate was shut, the path barred. <laughs> With a resounding boom, the wooden gate shattered. The next courtyard was overrun with guards. <laughs>
Once again, the path was blocked. Eo's plans, the more furious the spirits grew. Some say the fire spirits were created by Mongols, but it was Eo who gave them life, infusing them with her. Another fire spirit lay crouched in the tower across the courtyard. <laughs> Another fire spirit. Uh. 